I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show him I can still rap though. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Yeah, I go again. Outside says chirp, not a camera phone. Yeah. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Yeah. Why you acting different when the camera's Why on? Why you acting different like your paper on? Hey, they wake up and they got What's poppin', people? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be pond hopping and Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces. I'm out here today with my man, Mike. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for letting us do this, man. Absolutely, I it. no doubt, had you to. Know, we just got done with the Bassmaster Classic. We're out here today in what part of Texas? Plano, Texas, Plano? just north of Dallas. Nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice. But uh, show them a little bit about the cars, man. Tell them a little bit about the Rolls, the Lambo. Absolutely, so what we have right here, 2017 Rolls Royce Wraith. Um, to be honest, don't even know a whole lot about cars. Uh, I just know which one's the gas, which one's the brake, and that's about all you really need to know. Um, over here, Lamborghini Huracan 2021, and it goes a lot faster than this one. And uh, yeah, that's all you need to know. Well, that's a little bit about the cars. We're about to make it happen. Uh, this is gonna be a cool video. This is something we've never filmed before, and I don't think anybody else has done this, so we're excited about it. Uh, big shout out to Mike for making this happen. Check out his channel down below. I want to show you guys one more thing. We actually just released the new Kicking Their Bass combo at the Bassmaster Classic. Very blessed for this opportunity. You know, we were working on this combo for two years, and uh, now it's finally the time to announce it. I've been holding it inside. I've been so excited about it, and uh, now it's finally coming to life. These are going to be available here soon. I'm going to keep you guys posted on the videos. They should be available towards the end of July, but uh, we might end up taking some pre-orders here soon, so stay tuned for that. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Now let's hop in the cars, get to the pond, and catch some fish. That's got to feel so good. It's something that you work so hard on, so having the logo and all that. Very blessed, man. That's crazy, man. The real two? Yeah, yeah, they did the whole thing. Dude, and this is like your color. I've always seen you with like this color combo, yeah. you know? The green. Oh man, congratulations. Thank That's you, awesome. Dude. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. See when the sun hits it, it has like a pearlescent to it. You know, it kind of glows. It does. That's pretty slick. But uh no, they did an awesome job on it. It's affordable too, you know. We wanted to make something seven foot medium heavy. Yeah, just about that everything on it. Use, you yeah. know. Good for starter, good for more advanced. <laughs> <laughs> Like a glove. I'm racing the clock, look at him flock, watching him flock. Used to see this in my sleep when I ain't had shit on my thoughts in the car. I really was lost. Now I'm public with the soundscapes. What's good? <laughs> Tell me, man. We are about to go fishing out of some Lamborghinis, McLarens, Ferraris, Rolls Royces. This is gonna be a crazy video. This is something that we've never done before, so we're about to have fun with it. Hey, Fletcher. Yeah. How did we meet these guys that we're going to fish with? <laughs> they just walked up to me at the Classic today, or I mean not today, uh, like two or three days ago, and we were literally just about to leave. Like if they came, even like 30 seconds later, we were like on the way out and he stopped me and started chatting with me and we uh, hit it off and he invited me to come out and <laughs> try some ex spot, exotic sports cars to go, uh, to go do a little bit of pond hobby. I'm, I'm super excited, man. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited, bro. Really excited. You ready for this, Fletcher? Dude, I'm freaking pumped. Let's get it. Where's Adam, guys? Why? Come on, boy. We got some Lambos to drive. Adam has been late almost every day. Almost every single day. Always waiting on this man. I don't know what it is. By the way, we got the button up. For some reason, I was like, man, we're driving Lambos today. I got, I got to dress up a little bit. This isn't the normal fishing video. I brought my whole tackle system. You can use anything from it. I'm done. All right, let's, let's get it. Yeah, he said it's gonna be kind of like grassy pond, so. Chowder donk, Texas rig, froggy, maybe. Ugh, hate being rushed. 
Where's my key? Hey Adam, who are we waiting on now? Who do you think? Not me. I'm ready to go. We're waiting on. Who are we always waiting on? Fletcher. I don't know. <laughs> Noah just said we're always waiting on Adam. <laughs> Adam was telling me earlier we're always waiting on Fletcher. Look, man. Bob was telling me earlier we're Look, always waiting on Christian. They were waiting Christian. on me for me to get here because I had a truck and boat, and Noah decided he wanted to fly 95 miles per hour to get here. And he called me when I was trying to get off on the exit, so I missed my turn. Bob, will you just tell these guys to stop complaining and fish? Stop complaining, bro. Bro, we can't fish coffee. yet, though, because we're sitting in a truck. I'm so tired. Bob I'm got not. a little car sick. You feeling better? Dude, I'm I, uh, tired of sitting in the truck. I want to get I have to Lambo. take some motion sickness pills, dude. I cannot sit in an RV again. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, I cannot, dude. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Screw. Uh, I might squeeze y'all in there. Oh! The best you'll ever have. Dude, the carpet is so cool. Dude, look at the roof, the ceiling. I know, I already saw that, dude. That is like, that's the coolest thing I've heard. You good? Can you feel the carpet, Cody? Yeah, I'm good. Right. Yeah, the carpet is so luxurious. <laughs> it's like better than anything I've had in my house. Woo! All right, cool. We're good. good. Just that. Yep. Dude, <laughs> this is wild. This thing is comfortable as can be. Oh, dude, it's it's a beautiful car on the inside too, man. It's yeah. just it's just a Rolls Royce. It's just a Rolls Royce. Nothing crazy. You know. Pretty good. <laughs> That's pimping, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the coolest thing ever. That's the coolest thing ever. That's great. All right, here we go. First pond. We're going to pond number one. We're gonna see what happens. They said they got some really big fish in there. Um, we're just ripping out the Rolls Royce to the first place. We got Fletcher up there in the Lambo, A Dub right next to us. This is interesting, man. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> just enjoy it. Don't think about it. Just enjoy it. That's what I'm doing. Just relax. Yeah, absolutely. Got the cooling seats on. Yeah. It's only 100 degrees outside. Not in here. Yeah, it feels good in here. Hey, do you hear a motor? I don't hear nothing. It's quiet as can be. Sorry, Fletcher boys, that's driving. not happening. <laughs> is Fletcher driving? No, Michael is. <laughs> hey, don't want to race? <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> They're kicking their best, TV. Oh my Ow. gosh, is that Fletcher's <laughs> official? Yeah. Bro, oh my gosh. <laughs> This ain't gonna go, it's got a V12, but hey, it, ain't, man. it ain't gonna... I'm just chilling with luxury right I'm now. With you, bro. I mean, it's hot outside, we're just, we're vibing. All right. Am I getting y'all out first? Uh, me. Hello to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Is that Pescatelli Noah? Oh my gosh, it is Pescatelli <laughs> Noah. <laughs> How was that ride? Dude, it was awesome, bro. This that thing comfortable? Is luxury, for sure. And, uh... You know, these cars are looking nice and everything, but let me tell you, look at this freaking pond we're about to fish. This looks amazing. Got you a little seawall over there. Only the best for you. Big fish. Don't be lying to me. He said, uh, hey, like, uh, man, uh, look at how far you hold uh, it out. Uh, <laughs> you just hide the elbow and you push out, man. Yeah. Anything's a 10 pounder, anything. Well, it's a little three pond set. This got a big top pond over here um, that flows down into these other two. Um, they're both pretty shallow, um, but there's a lot of grass in them. There's quite a bit of bait fish in them, and obviously a lot of big bass that come with it. So awesome! Uh, hopefully, we're gonna come out here and catch a couple. So let's see what happens. So I am so excited, guys! Like, yeah, it's cool to go ride in those cars and everything, but just coming out with this rod and reel, and uh, this is actually the first video ever that I'm getting to film with this, and we're about to catch our first fish on the brand new kicking their bass rod on the channel. So I'm just stoked about that. They said there's some really big fish in these ponds. So we're going to travel down. we got one pond over here. Um, it's a beautiful looking area. And then if you walk down even further, 
they said there's some really big fish in a smaller pond back there. So that's probably where we're going to go. And uh, we'll go ahead and, you know, cast this rod a good bit, get a lot of good footage of that, and hopefully just catch a few really big monsters today. What's the biggest one you caught out here? Uh, eight pounder during spawn. And I've seen them on beds though, probably bigger. Really? Yeah, I mean, they're once the spawn gets on, this place is so crowded, everyone's trying to get to them. But I mean, there's, there's plenty of big fish out here. So. Alrighty, it's time to get it started. Just get out to the pond. And uh, if you guys are wondering what I'm throwing, you know, I got the old chatter donk. Old reliable. We got to start off with a new combo with the chatter donk. See if there's some big ones in here that'll eat it. And uh, he's got a little one over there. Look at that. Little baby one on a fluke. About second cast. First cast, he almost took it. And second cast, he came back and smoked it. So nice. We're going to get a little release. Sweet. So we're going to go ahead and get it started. I uh, Let's give her a old cast test. I'm going to tell you guys, I fished with this combo. It just hasn't been released. We've literally put this combo up against some $400 reels in this sucker beam. So I'm going to show you guys. I don't even have it set up yet, so I might have to adjust it. It's a light little cast. Not bad. This is a production sample, by the way, so. This is actually the first one that ever came out. All right, Cody's going to grab the old drone so we can get some cool shots for you guys. I'm just going to be casting around this chatter donk, hoping that we can get a big one to bite. You guys know if there's any bait that I just believe in so much, I catch this monster fish. It's got to be the chatter donk. So I'm excited about that right now. I think it's going to be good. They said there's some big ones in here. We've seen a lot of small ones swimming around, but I know we could have an opportunity to catch a monster. We're just going to cover a lot of water. This pond's actually really shallow. So I'm going to start beaming, you know, out there in the middle, see how deep it is. Let's see. Yeah, that's only about four foot right there out there in the middle. It's really flat on this bank right here too. I'd say it's about two foot, 15 foot off the bank. Out there in the middle, it's about four to five. So you got super shallow water. We're just gonna make a ton of cast and see what we can do. It is so shallow out there. A big one? Uh-oh. Old buddy over here's got him a good one. I see him jumping around. I can't get an eye on him. Oh, he's not a bad fish. Let's go run over to him real quick. I'm probably going to have to end up changing my bait to something slow, whether it's a fluke or a little Senko or, or something, because one, it's really shallow in here. And two, I just think if we slowed down, we definitely have a lot more bites. And we're on crunch time today. You know, we don't have, we literally probably have 30 to 45 minutes of daylight left. So we're really trying to knock this out. But that's a good one, bro. It's a nice fish. Solid two number. Solid two pounder. Yeah. Woo. Let me see, bro. Oh my gosh. Nice, dude. On the zoom super fluke. That thing's healthy, too. Yeah. It's a good fish. Well, there's a lot of little ones stacked up on this bank by these little cypress things. Yeah. And he was just a little bit further out. Was he? Yeah. Nice. So I think they're they're patrolling real shallow. Good deal. Yeah, I told the camera, I was like, I might need to put a Sanko or a Fluke on or something. Something slow. It's so shallow out there. Yeah. Like I was casting out there in the middle, and I mean, dude, it was like two foot, maybe a foot and a half. Yeah. That Those deeper parts are like maybe right in the middle of here and then straight out in the middle over there. Yeah. Got one? Is it another good one? He's fighting good, ain't he? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Nice. Dude, that is a little fat dude, ain't he? That's one of the biggest bullhead I've ever caught. That's wild. He's got nice colors on him. Yeah, be careful with him. That's so weird. Was that the fluke? Mm -hmm. Or the thing? It's fluke. 
I'm like catching all, I get almost all my bites like, like track casting like parallel. Parallel with it, yeah. Like they are real, real shallow. I was hoping to run into one of these big ones. You good? Yeah. Dude, I'm beyond starving for some reason. Hungry, sweating. Dude, I am so hungry. It's all gonna be worth it. <laughs> just catch a fish. Dude, I just want one fish and I want it to be a dang good one. All right, give me one good fish and there's a something moving right there, doggy. Give her a little flipper -oo. I sound, oh my gosh. It's reeled at the top. Oh my gosh, he went after it. Did you see that? He's got it. <laughs> First fish on the kicking rod. Oh my gosh. I didn't want it to be this small, but guess what? You know, it's part of it. Gosh, man. He is a little fat dude. He was chasing, chasing some bait. All right, buddy, calm down. I feel so weird right now with my voice gone. Like, I just don't feel like the Noah I usually am, you know? You know what I'm saying, Cody? Yeah. Hey, man, can't be getting old fish slime on the new KTV combo. Look at that. That's the first ever bass on the Kicking Their Bass x Lose combo. And he's a little fat dude. Nothing big. That's what everybody's been catching right now, just little tiny ones. He caught a good little two-pounder and a catfish, but a little fat guy. There he goes. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. He had to do a trick shot for the new rod. Well, looks like we're going to go ahead and hop ponds. We're going to go meet out by the Rolls Royce Lambo. See if there's another pond in here that we can catch some fish. Let's get it. Yeah, like switch. All right, we just came out to a new pond. We're going to make it happen. Me and Cody just looked at each other and said, dude, we got to make it happen. Right, Cody? That's right, man. Let's go do it. This pond looks a lot better. I'm going to be honest with you. The other one, it was just so shallow. That was a problem, but we're going to walk down here. You got this like big seawall. Might throw along the edge of it. And then the sun's going down right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that boil. Oh my gosh, little tiny dude. Stop it, stop it, stop it boy. Please stop it. Oh yeah, you're fat. That's what I will say about these fish. I mean, they're not big, but they are just fat as can be. Oh my gosh. Look how fat that dude is. Pretty markings on him. Not a big fish, but nice little guy. Nice little fat dude. See you buddy. There he goes. So it was a little tough, you know, we ran out of time. We only had about an hour to fish. I think if we had a little bit more time, we could have caught them. But what I'm gonna do is I'll catch you guys tomorrow. We gotta go catch some big fish on this combo at a different pond and see if we can get one over five pounds.